Hey everybody, it's Kim. I've uh, just finished my grandma's calendar. I wanted to give you guys a look and see, um, share it with you. I did finish it. I didn't, this isn't a process video. This is a, a just sharing video. How's that? Now, um, let's just get started on this. This is a 12 by 12, uh, red colored paper. This is from Color, Colorbox, which is Walmart name brand. And I get these in a big thick stack and it's got a bunch of colors like black and white and red and blue and green and it's just a smooth texture and I just love it. They, it cuts really well on the um, Cricut Explore and Expression. Those are the two machines that I have so I can vouch for that. Um, I was, wanted it to be sort of snowflakey, not so Christmassy. My grandma's um, nursing home that she lives in is, is very close to the beach so she didn't get a whole lot of snow so I thought I'd integrate this uh, snowflake theme into this. These are actually these cute little foam things that I had bought when I first started scrapbooking years and years and years ago. Well, not that, not years and years, but anyway, they're just those little foam things. And uh, I was going through my Christmas stash trying to figure out what I was going to do for a calendar, and I came across those. So that's these three things right here. That's what those are. Um, this border is from the Martha Stewart Snowflake Punch. I'm sure Michael still has this or Joann's or what, whoever you want to do your shopping with because although I've had this for many, many years. And I just punched out um, an 8 by 11 inch side and then I tucked it underneath this piece of paper which comes from the Jolly Jamboree. This is a recollections thing. You get this at Michael's. I've had this too for many, many years. Um, I think I probably made my first um, holiday card set with this particular pack. Oh, I didn't even see those little, oh, it has little letters in it. Well, I'll have to take a look at that later. So I just, you know, used the eight and a half by 11, but I wanted to show a little bit more blue, just kind of have that calendar section pop up a little bit. So I just took two strips of blue paper and I stuck them down underneath that red and white striped. That's kind of like a glittery um, texture to it. The trees, um, I think I just searched trees under Cricut Design Space and I came up with this one. Um, you'll have to look because I don't remember where I got this from. Um, and I just cut them out at one inch and then I used my white gel pen and I hand wrote all the letters. Now, my other calendars, I've cut the, not letters, numbers. Um, my other calendars, I was cutting the numbers or I was stamping the numbers. So I thought with, I wanted it white, it needs to be really tiny. I didn't want to take the chance of the numbers not really um, cutting intricately and I didn't know really what size, so I went for the gel pen. All right, so moving, oh, the, the little dots here are from the Nouveau that I just bought on scrapbook.com. Um, I had got a bunch of these from a scrapbook event with that I went to a couple weekends ago and fell in love with them so I went ahead and ordered some more in different colors I love them um, what they actually do is they dry to the point where they look like little enamel dots now unfortunately <laughs> the enamel dots per se were still wet and my husband came in and set his iPad down on my scrapbook I mean on my calendar thing I'm like oh no <laughs> so they got all smushed <laughs> Yeah, that's not funny. Um, okay, keep going down. Um, oh, back at first. This is Art Deco uh, font, and that's at one and a half inches. And then this is also the Art Deco font, and that's one inch. Now this really cute snowman here is something I've had for a super long time. It's Can Company, and I think I have a baggie right here. Nope, that's not it. Oh, here they are. Um, once I open up these little boxes of things, everything seems to fall out, so I just put it in a Ziploc baggie. I'm keeping Ziploc baggies in business, I tell you, I keep everything in Ziploc baggies. So, um, I, I used one of these great little snowflake, or snowmen, I said snowflake. Right across here, there was this blank space and this funky just edge that I wasn't, I wasn't liking. So, I went into my washi tape. And I found this really cute green and red and white washi tape from Recollections. And I just put a strip of that across here. Now, I may end up going in and writing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I have to think about that. And um, I think that was it. I think 
if I put anything else more on it, it's going to look too busy. So I'm going to kind of hold it off at this point and not really add anything else. All right, everybody. Um, any questions, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you. And thanks all for watching.